Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm unboxing and reviewing the latest launch from Parfum de Marly, one of my favorite niche fragrance houses. This is a new interpretation of their best-selling perfume, Delina. You probably heard about it. It's called Delina La Rose. Now this was sent to me complimentary. The video is not sponsored, but I am a huge fan of the original Delina. I love that fragrance. It's one of my all-time favorites. I also happen to really love rose fragrances. So when I found out about this launch, I got really excited. This sounds like it should be perfect for me. I'm a little bit nervous because now my expectations are so high. I went ahead and I removed the cellophane wrapping, but this is the box. I waited to spray the fragrance because I wanted to share my first impression with you guys on camera. So this is what it looks like. I'm trying to remember if the original Delina comes in this textured cardboard box, but it's basically the same packaging. You have the really beautiful light baby pink box. You see on the bottom it says Royal Essence. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration. We lift off the top. The bottle is this really beautiful, kind of frosted, transparent pink glass. It's really stunning. Then you have the same pink tassels, the same silver cap with a little pink rhinestone right at the top. It's a 2.5 fluid ounce bottle. So it's the standard size for the Parfum de Marly perfumes. The fragrance retails for $2.95, so it's a little bit less expensive than the original, which I believe is $3.15 or $3.20. Now, usually if I'm smelling a fragrance for the very first time and giving a full review, I like to just go ahead, spray, sniff, dive right in, and then I'll read about the notes later. But since I've already peeked at this card, I'm going to go ahead and share the notes and read you this little description that was provided in the box. It says, a blend of transparent watery flowers and peony recall multiple notes of fresh, velvety, impertinent, and delicate rose. The most regal of these notes, Turkish rose unfolds in elegance, pear, lychee, and bergamot scents at a gourmand touch, while a perceptible but subtle base of wood, white musk, and vetiver envelops the senses. Ooh, it sounds good. Luminous, feminine, fresh, watery. It's a glamorous sensation. Top notes include lychee, pear, bergamot essence. I believe the original does have lychee. I think there's a rhubarb in there as well. So this does contain the lychee and pear. Middle notes of Turkish rose, peony, and transparent flowers. So they added peony to the middle. And then base notes, softwood, white musk, and vetiver. Some similarities, some differences. It's supposed to be watery, rose, aquatic, fresh. It sounds like something that would be really perfect for spring. The time has come. I'm rolling up my sleeve. I'm going to spray it on my arm on this side and then I'm going to wait a minute and I want to spray the original Delina on the other arm and let them both dry down. That way I can really give you a comparison side by side with the original. I think that will be one of the main questions about this fragrance. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> I'm excited to let that dry down, but the initial burst is so wonderful. It's like a light, fresh, slightly aquatic version of the original. You might think that it's going to be really powerful, heavy rose, and it's not, at least not right away. light, fresh, it smells a little fruity, floral. The more it dries down, I get the sweetness of the original Delina. It sort of gets that really pretty, kind of soft, very elegant, sophisticated scent. So feminine. It's a little bit light. It kind of has this sparkling quality to it, which makes sense. I think maybe that's the transparent flowers. It has this transparent sort of light veil of a fragrance type of feel. You get that from the bottle and you definitely get that from the notes. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to spray the original Delina. I have my Delina Exclusive and my original. I like the Exclusive. It's a little bit more powdery. My favorite of the two is the original. I think it's a little bit spicier. It has that bold, sensual rose. So let me spray that on my other arm. Do a little side-by-side -side comparison, which I have found incredibly helpful lately when discovering new fragrances. I trick myself. A lot of times when I smell something, my brain recognizes it as something familiar and I might think, oh, this smells like X, this smells like Z. 
And then when I do the side by side, I realize that they're actually very different. So I think this is the best way. The more I smell new fragrances, the more I discover more fragrances. I'm kind of learning about how my nose works. Okay. Beautiful. Hmm. It's really hard to beat the original. They are definitely different. The original has that yummy, spicy, kind of smooth rose, that true ro sensual rose. Whereas this one is a little bit light. You get the pear, the lychee, definitely peony, the transparent flowers. It just, it's a little bit more fresh. I can definitely pick up on some rose, but I'm a bit surprised that there isn't more rose coming forward in the fragrance since it is Delina La Rose. I think it's more of a light garden rose, a full bouquet of flowers, and then rose is maybe the main star. Mmm. The original Delina is a little bit spicier, a little bit sweeter. It's definitely more special occasion, more date night. It's a little bit more of an elevated fragrance, whereas I think the La Rose is perfect for daytime. This one is a little bit more bold. They're both so nice. I think if you love the original Delina and you're looking for something maybe a little bit lighter, a little bit more playful, the La Rose will be perfect for you. It doesn't smell the same. It doesn't smell like a watered down, lesser version of the original. It is a totally different, unique fragrance, which I love. Okay, I'm gonna let that continue to dry down. I think I need to keep it on my arm a little while longer, but I love it. It's so nice. The one thing that stands out to me right now is it's not as intensely rose as I thought it might be. <sighs> original Delina. Okay, so by now the perfume has been on my arm for about 20, 25 minutes. I'm gonna do another sniff test. It's really beautiful. Light, fruity, floral, aquatic. It's very clean and fresh. It's not crisp. It's definitely feminine. And one of the flowers, maybe it's the peony, there's something in this that gives it a really soft creaminess. It's definitely different from the original Delina. I do get that light, floral, slightly rosy component. If you like Delina, I think you'll really like this. It could be your daytime fragrance if you prefer to keep Delina for evenings, date night, special occasions. Delina La Rose could be your daytime fragrance and you wouldn't feel like you were replicating the scent. It's not like an eau de toilette version of the eau de parfum. They are completely different. In fact, I think it smells a lot more similar. Not the same, but similar. It lives in the same neighborhood as Dolce & Gabbana L'Imperatrice or Giorgio Armani Ocean de Joa. I also think it would be really nice paired with the Delina Ancillary. So if you went in with the original Delina body cream, which I have somewhere around here. If you layered that body cream as your moisturizer and then instead of going in with Delina, you spritzed on Delina La Rose, maybe you went in with the hair mist, the hand cream, whatever else you wanted to layer, then you would get that sweet, spicy, more sensual aspect of the original Delina, but you would still have this really light, clean scent. I think those two would pair beautifully together. I love them both. I love the original Delina so much, but I know I've mentioned it before that I tend to save my favorite fragrances and I know you shouldn't do that, but there are some fragrances that I don't want to wear every day. It's not that I would get sick of them or I don't love them. It's just that I want them to maintain that special spark so that when I do wear them, it feels like a special occasion. You know, it just elevates the mood, completes the outfit. Well, Delina is one of those fragrances. It falls into that really special category. So if I'm wearing Delina, it's usually for a special occasion, an event, a date night. Of course, I'm talking pre-COVID times, thinking about in the future. 
but I, it's not something that I wear on a daily basis. Whereas Delina La Rose, I could see myself wearing this every single day. It's still very beautiful. Of course, I don't want to smell bad on my days off. You know, it's not like I skimp on the days that I'm not wearing something really special. It's the perfect every single day fragrance, your daily wear. I could see this being your signature scent, especially spring, summer. If you live in a hotter climate, like here in Florida, you don't necessarily wanna wear something really heavy or something really strong and spicy when it's so hot outside. A lot of times that triggers a headache, with me at least. I don't think this will trigger a headache in anybody. There's nothing in this fragrance, though, that there are no detectable notes that are really harsh or too strong. Just like Delina, I think most everybody is going to love this fragrance. It's hard for me to imagine somebody disliking this fragrance. I think even if you don't love it, absolutely have to have it, you want to purchase it, I think everybody will like this fragrance. It's really going to depend on you, your personal preferences, what fragrances you already have in your collection and what you're looking to add to supplement the rest of the fragrances you already own. I will say if you don't really love rose, if you don't find yourself drawn to rose fragrances and you've already written this off, give it a chance. See what you think because rose doesn't really stand out to me that much. And maybe it's because the rose fragrances that I typically wear are very strong, bold rose fragrances. And this is not that. So I think even people who don't really love rose will really like this. If I didn't know this was Delina La Rose, I would call this maybe Delina by the ocean or something like that. It's not an incredibly harsh rose scent, but it is fresh, floral, daytime, spring, walking through a garden. You kind of get that light, subtle hint of something, but it's never overpowering. It's kind of understated, but still really special and beautiful. It is already available on the Parfum de Marly website. I will, of course, link it down below. I saw this is now carried at Nordstrom as well, so just about anywhere I imagine that carries Parfum de Marly, they should have the Delina La Rose in case you're interested, you wanna try it for yourself. If you can get to a perfume counter, I know it's really difficult at the moment with lockdowns and everything like that. If you're in Florida, you shouldn't have too big of an issue. My final, final spritz I'm going to do, I just wanna refresh the fragrance one more time so I can get those top notes. I love the dry down, it's so nice. Oh wow. Mm, it is so good. I love it. It's really beautiful. If you like fresh, fruity florals, you are going to love Delina La Rose. This kind of gives you the perfect visual representation of the scent. Really gorgeous, feminine, light, fresh. It's so delicate. I love it. I'm gonna wear this fragrance all day long and I'll let you know how it lasts, how it wears, because I'm sure a lot of people will have questions. If it's so light, does it last? Time will tell. But that completes the first impressions of this fragrance. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think about this fragrance? Are you interested? Are you excited? Have you tried it yet? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. We will keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking the fragrance, everything on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.